Hello and welcome to the Banker's Monthly Preview, looking at what we're covering in the April issue. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy Editor of The Banker. This issue will be on display at the 51st Asian Development Bank Annual Meeting held in Manila and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development Annual Meeting in Jordan. So we have specific content addressing those conferences. But the cover story this month is on cryptocurrencies, and I have with me Europe editor Stephanie Lindhardt to discuss what the central banks are saying about the likes of Bitcoin. Stephanie, thanks so much for joining us today. So Bitcoin saw this dramatic rise in December and a bit of a fall, but it's really put it on the map for central bankers. Uh, and it was also on the agenda for the G20 uh, finance ministerial meetings that was held in Argentina a couple of weeks ago. You know, what are central banks saying about cryptocurrencies uh, and, you know, what are the main concerns that they're facing? Yeah, well, I've spoken to quite a few different central bankers and you do hear different points of view. So some central bankers are keen to have all potential agencies, organizations look at a way to regulate them from their point of view, like IOSCO, like the Basel Committee. Others are saying we want to ban them. And then we again, others are suggesting that they don't even want to touch them. They don't even want to give them a platform by regulating them. Now, it's, it's interesting because central bankers are very, I guess, across the board, uh, are saying that they don't like the term cryptocurrencies. They don't like referring to them as a currency. They say it's, they are a, a poor um, unit of account, uh, store of value and, and means of payment. Um, but they are there and we have to, at some point, somehow deal with them. Okay, but are they a threat to financial stability? Do the central bankers, are they considering that? The main uh, point of view at the moment is that they are not yet, potentially yet, I'm saying, um, a threat to financial stability. They are mainly concerned of the anti-money laundering um, and, uh, well, investor protection in those respects. However, if banks were to become more intertwined with these cryptocurrencies um, and if more maybe outlets were to allow, allow them as a means of payment, then and, and they to encroach more on the on the real economy, then uh, central bankers would get more concerns. So certainly. So is there concerns around money laundering? Yeah, there certainly is uh, a concern about money laundering. Um, there are a lot of different cryptocurrencies around, so there's obviously a uh, there needs to be a point of view taken. Not every single currency is the same currency. Um, so there are about fifteen hundred. Um, different ones out there and with some of them they are more anonymous they are more um, well prone to be used for the let's call it uh, shadow shadow market mm. so they are concerns okay and the Bank for International Settlements released a white paper really looking at central bank issued mm -hmm. digital currencies um, you know what are the central banks take on that yeah, this is something interesting because this is a topic that a lot of people, especially the media, are very keen on, on looking at because it sounds exciting to talk about uh, a potential central bank cryptocurrency, but actually there is a distinction that needs to be made because very often this, this kind of gets gets put into one. Um, the, the digital currencies, the digital fiat currencies that central banks are potentially thinking about is actually something quite different. Um, and, and Sweden are uh, looking into a potential e-krona, so an, an e-electronic version of the krona. Um, but it's not quite clear yet if it's going to happen. They're quite far in their research, but it might take until the end of 2019 for them to actually decide if it makes sense and what kind of look the e-krona would actually have. Um, something that we have seen is uh, people talk about things like Estonia looking to issue a cryptocurrency and, and there is a lot of confusion around that because actually in, in that case, I've spoken to the central bank, they, they don't want this, they, they don't want to issue a cryptocurrency um, or a currency apart from the euro. Uh, and the government is, is very clear that if ever they were to think about this potential 
est coin, which uh, is floating around the media, it would literally just be for their EU um, residency platform, mm. um, and it would not leave this platform. So there have to be distinctions made. Okay, and so overall, do you think central banks will issue a cryptocurrency in the near future? Well, I've asked them, I've asked them all, but I'm not going to tell you the answer for that. You have to read the article. Great. Thank you so much for your insights, Stephanie. Get your copy of the April issue of The Banker at thebanker.com. <laughs>